Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Yogi's Garage. I have a special one for you today, and that's about scan tools. I have friends and family that ask me all the time what type of troubleshooting tools that I use to diagnose issues with my cars. Well, I have a lot of cars, so I have a lot of different options. So what I wanna do is I wanna break down the four top scanners that I use, one of which was given to me by the vendor for me to review, and the other ones I've owned for quite some time. So we're gonna start with the basics, with just the basic scan tool, with some basic clearing code functionality, all the way up to a Porsche specific tool, and whether or not you actually need something like that. So I hope you get some value out of this. We'll see you on the other side. Let's test it. All right, first up on my review is the Blue Driver. This by far is the least expensive option that I'll be reviewing today, but it doesn't mean it's not packed with features. Some of the key things that I took away from this tool, and I've used it for several years now, is that it's compact, and it uses an iOS or Android app to control all of its features. So it makes it really easy to take it on the go, use it to reset codes, get your car back on the road, and the price point is $99. It's a great option for just the simple, limited services that it, it offers, but it gives you enough to clear codes. It gives you enough features so that you can test whether or not your car is gonna pa pass the emissions test in your state. These kinds of features are very important to me since I own three old cars and each one of them needs to be inspected for emissions. I don't have to drag around uh, a laptop or a large diagnostics tablet. I can just plug this in and get it done. One key enhanced feature that I use quite a bit is the live data. If I'm measuring fuel trim or I need to know what my throttle position is and I can record this data while I'm driving the car and review it later, that's invaluable. I can sit down on my desk and look at the data and see whether or not I need to do some work on whatever module that I might be testing at the time. One key takeaway that you should get from any of the scan tools that I'm presenting today is that your mileage may vary depending on the age of your car. I have a 2002 Porsche 911, a 2005 Porsche 911 Turbo, and a 2018 Audi Q7. And each one of those gave me different results depending on which tool I was using. Okay, next up is the CarScan Pro 5610 by Innova. Full disclosure, Innova reached out to me a few weeks ago and asked if I would be willing to review this product in my garage. And I said, absolutely. It looks like it's a really good tool. I wanna see how it compares to the other scan tools that I have at my disposal and here are the results. I found that on my older cars, the Porsches, a lot of the enhanced features that are advertised on the box are not supported. Case in point, I started off my testing in my 2005 Porsche Turbo and, and it immediately had trouble scanning and identifying the car that I'm plugged into. I eventually figured out that it was a low battery in the car that caused this behavior, but as you can see, I actually tried to use the tool to determine if it was indeed a low battery and the test failed. So I couldn't use the tool to determine if it was a problem because the battery was too low. Keep that in mind. I really liked the idea that it had a separate iOS app that I could use to connect to the scan tool as well and view additional or enhanced information regarding the car and also be able to take action on services, scheduling appointments to have your car serviced, these kinds of things I may not use personally, but I find it useful for most people because they may not have a garage with a ton of tools like I have. Since I wasn't having much luck on my Porsches, I decided to switch gears and try it on a more modern car, my wife's 2018 Audi Q7, and the results were much better. The first thing I wanted to do was reset the oil reminder on the dashboard because I had recently changed the oil, and it was pretty easy, just going in a couple of clicks, and I was able to clear it no problem. Unfortunately, not all features worked on this car. Now, whether or not it's because 
there's a problem with the software or it simply is not supported on this 2018 car. I'm not sure. However, I did reach out to Innova and let them know some of the limitations that I discovered because I really wanted to give them a fair shake on their scan tool. So they quickly replied and they let me know that they have a website that you can go to and I'll put the link down in the description where you can go and you can check and see what's covered on your model and whether or not it'll meet your needs. Because of the low battery issue on my turbo, I wanted to give the Innova one more chance on my Carrera and it was able to detect it no problem and I did like that it showed the current state of the emissions monitoring. However, I immediately ran into limitations again <laughs> on features. And again, I'm going to chalk this up as a problem with the age of the car and not so much an issue with the product. And Nova did say that they do often update their product via firmware, but I have read through Amazon reviews that sometimes it can take between six months and a year between updates. You'll find that that's not really acceptable when I show you the other tools. I wanted to give the iOS app one more try and look at some live data from the iOS application rather than from the tool itself. And unfortunately, this was the result. Some of the other features in the software I wanted to show you in a different app, and this one's called Car Care, provided by the company who brings you the Carfax reports when you buy used vehicles. This app is free to download, and I use it for all of my cars, and you can see that I have my entire fleet in here, and I can view when, when something's due, how many miles it's estimating, and where to buy parts or tires. The Repair Solutions 2 app can indeed do that as well, but it's more enhanced when you connect it to one of their OBD2 scan tools. So if you like those kinds of features where you can maintain historical data on the maintenance on your vehicles, both of these are free to download. All right, next up is the RD Diag 600S by Topdon. I was initially introduced to this tool on the Sam Crack YouTube channel. So I clicked on his affiliate link, bought one and absolutely love it. This tool here has every feature that you could possibly need for daily maintenance, including system resets, live data, and a broad support of automotive brands. And unlike the Innova brand, Topdon frequently updates their software almost to a fault where if you have it set up to auto download and install, it may interrupt your need to use the tool until it finishes updating. And depending on how long you've used it last, it may take some time for it to update completely. Aside from the slick interface and the very responsive touch screen, one of the coolest features is being able to do a quick health scan on your, on your car, pull the codes, and then deep dive into each one of those codes via your Wi-Fi connection to use Google or whatever search engine this tool uses to pull up more general detail on that code and perhaps how to resolve the issue depending on what it is. The RD Diag had no trouble scanning my older 2005 and 2002 Porsches and I was able to drill into a specific area in the convertible top and view numerical data that I could only view with using a proprietary tool like a Durametric, which we'll talk about later. Now I can do it all in one in this tool and pull the information. And in some cases, I can activate those modules for testing purposes. Okay, last but certainly not least is the Porsche specific tool called Durametric. And this tool here is pretty pricey. I bought the enthusiast version, which gives me up to three VIN numbers for $287. I've already used up two, so I'll have to consider going to the next tier up, which is the $735 option, which would give me unlimited VINs. Now, is it worth it? 
Well, your mileage may vary on that. It all depends on what you need the tool to do. If you are an active Porsche mechanic, absolutely. You probably cannot live without this tool or something similar. For the average do-it-yourselfer, all of the other tools that I have presented today would certainly meet your requirements. If you need to go deep diving into very specific things that are, that are related to Porsche, like over revs, cam deviations, and fuel trims, then this is the tool for you. And it's presented to you in a very familiar format. It should look like a Windows File Explorer or an MMC Snap-in, and it's easy to figure out where you need to go. The only drawback is that you need a Windows device and it does not support Mac OS. One key selling point for me is the ability to calibrate my convertible tops. I own two Porsche 911 Cabriolets, so that right there pays for itself because otherwise I'd have to drive my car to the dealership or to somewhere else who has a Durametric or the mechanic professional version to have it calibrated. Here, I can just press one button, click start, and the top can calibrate itself. All right, guys, so there you go. Those are my recommendations. So you can see that you don't need to drop a ton of dough on a scan tool if all you're gonna be doing is clearing your maintenance reminders and clearing some check engine lights every now and then. You can go all the way down to a $99 option. It has an awesome, it has an awesome app, it's got an awesome value, or you can go all the way to the other end of the spectrum and drop a ton of dough on a specific tool, and in my case, Porsche, and pay out the nose for additional licenses when you, when you need them. I also want to thank Innova for sending me over one of their very expensive scan tools. Unfortunately, it didn't work all that great with my older cars, but they have promised me that they are pumping out updates as quickly as they can get them. It kind of contradicts what I read on Amazon, but I'm going to take the vendor's word for it for now. In addition, you'll find a link to each one of these tools in my description. Some of these are affiliate links that will help the channel. It'll redirect you to an Amazon page and you can check out and the channel gets a little bit of a commission if you decide to buy it. So I hope you do. So I hope you got some value out of this video. We'll see you next time on Yogi's Garage.